For the healthcare industry, now is the time to introduce an on-prem platform as a service offering for the Epic Electronic Health Record. Joining me now to explain why are Steve Shim, Executive Healthcare Strategist, Hewlett Packard Enterprise, and Ivers Appside, Healthcare Practice Manager at Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Good to see you both. Now, you've each spent a great deal of your career as executive leaders in hospital systems, leveraging Epic Systems electronic health record prior to moving to HPE. What are some of the challenges these organizations face with supporting their EHR strategy? Steve, perhaps I could ask that of you first. Guy, it's a great question because many technology companies do not have the experience of implementing or operating Epic. In fact, Ivers and I have supported and led integrated health networks and academically affiliated health systems supporting Epic. We have experience supporting Epic Enterprise Connect programs, as well as achieving HEMS analytics stage seven end to end. We understand the perspective of health systems. And yes, we can share a number of the ongoing challenges and risks organizations are dealing with today. Examples include changes to the infrastructure, such as very complex technology platform migrations or database upgrades. Uh, in addition to that, new or ongoing consolidation or standardization onto the Epic platform. And this is especially true for organizations that are growing. And certainly ongoing operational burdens are an issue, such as retaining and certifying Epic client certified resources, and absolutely staff burnout is an issue. This is associated with supporting a 24 by seven application that is critical to patient care services. Ivers, I'm sure you can add additional content here, here as well. Oh, I'd like to Steve. Yeah, leveraging our past experiences and insights while managing the infrastructure at health systems. You know, we've been holding now a number of surveys and roundtables and even panel discussions on the topic of EHR strategies. And as we've been collecting the responses, interesting trends are now beginning to emerge. The starkest trend is that a number of health systems want to revisit their on-premises data center strategy and leverage emerging solutions such as hybrid cloud or even EHR as a service. Now, hybrid cloud and HPE GreenLake consumption services have accelerated in all industries, including healthcare. Steve, why is now the right time to introduce an on-premises platform as a service offering for the Epic EHR? Guy, you're exactly right. And in general, we have seen tremendous growth in hybrid cloud this year, primarily due to the pandemic. Consultants and auditing companies alike are all reporting tremendous focus on hybrid cloud adoption. One example is that PricewaterhouseCoopers just reported hybrid cloud spending is up 37%. And not only because customers are demanding it, but because the legacy methods really just aren't working very well. Our timing for the Epic Platform to Service, service offering is perfect because our Epic customers are now exploring all options to innovate. We see the following requirements driving demand, and they include uh, productive ways to leverage the cloud, especially when supporting tier one applications like Epic. The need to reduce total cost of ownership is absolutely a driver, simplifying IT and absolutely shortening delivery times for, for major projects. And lastly, the priority to preserve cash as a result of the pandemic. Ivers, can you talk about other trends we're seeing? Yeah, Steve. You know, as health systems are exploring their EHR hosting options, you know, many are now starting to tell us that they're considering the possibility of outsourcing the operational management of their EHR. You know, the cloud has ushered in a number of viable options and all are based on this uh, pay-as-you-use kind of resource consumption model. A variety of cloud and cloud-like EHR hosting options are also being considered from remotely from completely remote to hybrid, from private to cloud, and from on-prem to co-located. You know, while the majority of EHRs are still deployed on-premises, more and more health systems are considering a managed EHR platform. It could be hosted by the EHR vendor or managed on-premise. You know, 
And trends such as resource pooling, on-demand resource technology uh, resources, or you know, consumption-based on-demand resources are also being considered. Speaking to the cloud, you know, health systems are exploring a variety of cloud options to address portions of their EHR support, which range from cloud backup to cloud disaster recovery to cloud adjacency hosting solution options to full EHR as a service options. You know, factors like data privacy, data governance, data gravity, high initial investment, shortage of properly trained staff, and interoperability issues are all primary states that are still not top of mind regarding cloud adoption. So those are holding some health systems back from adopting cloud. And yet health systems are also wrestling with how to fund their EHR hosting options. You know, CapEx is still the traditional funding vehicle, but many health systems are challenged to adopt CapEx funding for a cloud-based hosted solution that's built on a monthly basis based on resource consumption. OpEx funding is also available, but cash optimization, as Steve just mentioned, are very prevalent in health systems today due to the pandemic and limit the desire to significantly increase the OpEx budgets to adopt a cloud-based EHR hosting strategy. And lastly, the EHR hosting strategy must include a larger EHR application ecosystem. You know, applications such as document management packs, the financial information systems, even enterprise-wide apps like email and office apps are essential to the functions of delivering the uh, you know, uh, healthcare functions to a health system. And all of these solutions need to be highly integrated into the EHR hosting strategy. So Ivers, what are the key benefits of the HPE GreenLake Epic platform as a service offering for health systems? First of all, you know, we at HP assure you that the Epic platform as a service solution will provide these key attributes. You know, first, our solution will provide and be an Epic target platform compliant solution. It meets Epic's honorable compliance requirements. You know, it also definitely includes EPIC technical stack operations, administration, and monitoring using EPIC certified resources. It supports HIPAA compliance, which is a must have. It is built also on HP solutions that deliver a high confidence level and deliver a vertically integrated technology. We are the only infrastructure vendor that delivers an end to end converged medical infrastructure to EPIC healthcare providers. Steve, what else can you add? Very important, uh, Ivers. And so, yeah, let me talk about the value that GreenLake enabling brings to Epic customers. And this occurs at multiple levels. So first, uh, as we touched on before, a true cloud experience that uh, you only pay for what you use. Additionally, we bring the Epic platform as a service offering to customers co-location or on-premises data center. This offering can be uh, leveraged also uh, using customers' existing software licensing agreements and eliminate duplicate costs. And we, we hear from our um, customers that this can be substantial. Lastly, we integrate highly qualified staff into our service offering with certifications in ITIL business service management, ISO security frameworks, and of course, Epic client systems. This is a unique offering in the market. That is absolutely compelling to our Epic customers. And a final question to both of you, as a healthcare practice manager and a healthcare strategist, what advice and recommendations would you add for Epic customers? Ivers. We definitely recommend you focus on innovating a Epic hybrid cloud enabling strategy. Now, what I mean by that is make sure it delivers a true cloud-based service, you know, which utilizes existing data centers, and or colo data centers and provides elasticity into cloud options. The solution must provide a pay as you use consumption model that provides that ability to flex up and down. Also, one that meets Epic target platform and honor roll requirements. It must leverage existing enterprise licensing agreements to avoid that double dipping scenario. It must, needs to also include EPIC client certified resources, and it's supported with highly qualified, experienced team members that really understand how to support infrastructure for healthcare. And lastly, a single unit measure for simplified consumption metrics. Steve, what recommendations would you add? 
Ivers, I'll just finish up uh, with as a long-term health IT professional and executive, I can tell you that there are times when it is essential to innovate. And this pandemic is one of those times. Health IT teams already helped stakeholders innovate with teleworking solutions and the patient experience with telehealth services. The key is for health IT teams to now innovate in how IT infrastructure is supported and delivered for mission critical applications. The opportunity is to rebalance and optimize infrastructure responsibilities with a trusted and highly qualified partner. Ultimately, this enables health IT teams to move quicker, scale faster, introduce new services, and improve service level agreements. This is the time to pursue these opportunities because not only is it expected, but organizations support this type of paradigm shift uh, has never been greater. Hence, I recommend Epic customers explore the HPE GreenLake Epic Platforms as a Service offering and determine, determine if it helps meet or exceed your most strategic objectives. Steve and Ivers, thank you both very much for joining us today.